What's going on guys? I haven't posted a lot and all of the projects on my YouTube I don't have anymore. So I'm going to start off with some new stuff. Hopefully going to stop posting more so I can get some feedback on what I'm doing because I like feedback. I want to know what's going on. So I'll show you what I got going on in my garage and the coming videos will be footage of that. First off is my AV8 project I got going on. Old traditional hot rod. A-frames, Model A coupe. That's an 8BA flathead. Three-speed. Benton. Two-by-two two intake. Lock was rebuilt by Ford. God knows when, but it's got that cool little reconditioned block tag on there. But get all the traditional goodies: 40 juice brakes, uh, F1 shock mounts. What else? 32 style K member. The old. That's the original Model A rear end, banjo rear end. The seed, the frame, like they did back in the day. I could have done a better job, but kind of want to do it exactly how they did it. I'm going off of uh, Vern Cardell's How to Build a Traditional Ford Hot Rod Book. This thing is the Bible for what I'm doing. Got a four inch dropped I beam axle. I ordered it smooth, but it came drilled, and I'm not really mad about it. I have wide fives. Got more drums under there, but I haven't hooked it up to the front yet. Let me show you the back end. I got room in my garage, but I'm uh, got another, setting up another project right now. I made these lower shock mounts the other day from a bunch of scrap I had laying around. Which is pretty much two bolts that bolts where the, uh, the backing plate does. And the lower bolt kind of countersunk it in there. It's pretty cool. Same with the other side. Oh yeah, that's kind of where this is. Don't have a body yet. I'm looking for the right one. So I'm up here in New England. They're pretty much all rock boxes and I don't want to deal with that. But as you can see, it's looking pretty good right now. Need to set up the brakes, put the backing plates on the rear, get the steering all set up. A lot of things to do. Next little project, as a sneak peek, I have a pedal car. 40s Buick pedal car. It's a Murray. Straighten it out and Stripped all the paint off of it. This thing was all bent up. So, now I gotta slap a little bond on that and we'll, we'll paint that nice, nice. Then, I decided, had a bunch of, not scrap parts, but extra parts. I think I'm gonna make another traditional ish hot rod. Got this frame here, I think it's for a what, fiberglass Model T body or something like that. Or just Model T frame. I got this banjo rear end. So I'm gonna have spring behind on this car instead of spring over, like this frame. And I'm gonna use this wishbone and front axle. And as you can see, so I pull it out. There's 
walk with me over here. As you can see, it will be spring in front. So this thing will be pretty low. So use that axle, this axle, a bunch more brake parts. I think I'll just do this five by five bolt pattern or five, five and a half, hold for it. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I got that and I have this to put in it, which is a 401 Buick nail head. It's just a block right now. Jeez. Just got to buy a rebuild kit for that. And I got the transmission for it. Heads and all that good stuff. I got more parts upstairs. But. Yeah, so that's going to be kind of cool. Maybe mess around with that when I got nothing to do on this. So far, that's what I got going on. So if you guys got any questions or any input to what I'm doing, I'd love to hear. And also, if you have any parts that you'd like to sell, traditional Ford hot rod stuff, I'd love to see what you got. So if you guys want to see more of what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button, like, I appreciate it.